We're going to do a brief video on S&P 500 scalping trading strategy. And we've got a daily chart on here for you of the S&P 500 E-mini futures contract from the Chicago Mercantile Exchange. The symbol is ES. We've got a five-minute excuse me, a five-day green moving average on here, a 20-day moving average, and a 200-day moving average. You can certainly use moving averages for scalping, especially on a one-minute chart in the S&P 500, and uh, it's actually really an easy thing to do, and we've done a separate video on it, I'll refer you to that. It's on our YouTube channel, but what we're going to show you right now is how to use our algorithmically generated prices that we put out every morning before 7 a.m. to scalp the S&P 500. So let's take a look real quick. First, we're going to show you a 30-day uh, system just to give you an idea of what we put out on here and then we're going to show you some much shorter term ones this particular system is a trend following system it's got a 30-day max hold but you get out as soon as you can take a profit so this is for the 17th of October these come out every morning before 7 a.m. and I'll show you how to get free access in a minute but they put, come out with buy flats or short position you can see the S&P 500 is right at the top shows a short for Monday at 3697 now you get in Take your profit as soon as you get it, or you close out, worst case, to the end of 30 days. Now, I realize it's a long period of time. Most people don't want to do that. So let me show you a non-trend following system with much shorter holding periods. Our S&P 500 non-trend following system is right here. It's got 1, 2, 5, 10, and 20-day holding periods. Let's focus on the one-day hold. For, for Monday, the 17th, you can see we've got a buyout here at 35.60. Basically, the way this works is you get in on Monday, get out at the end of the next trading day, worst case. Now, that's how this is set up. But if you're an experienced trader and you know what you're doing, you can use 3560 and your own analysis. Of course, you can only use our information for entertainment purposes only, but you use your own analysis and use uh, 3560 as entertainment and get in and get out on the same day. Oftentimes, these are very profitable intraday and you can use them to scalp and use them for a scalping trading strategy. So they work really good. You'll find that the buys or the shorts are populated every day, not both, one or the other. And if the shorts are populated, there will not be anything for the one-day hold. It'll just be a two-day hold and the rest. You will not have a one-day hold for the shorts on the SP500. But again, almost always, the, the, the two-day uh, short price or entry price is a good entertaining price to look at for experienced traders to use to scalp. Again, you have to use it at your own judgment. You use it for entertainment purposes only. You can't use our information for anything other than entertainment. You have to trade it with your own analysis and at your own risk. But it's very interesting to tune in every day for free and take a look at these prices and see exactly what's going on here. So the one days for the SP uh, are great for buys. And then you switch to the two days for the shorts for the S&P. We put them out every morning before 7 a.m. And you can get them all for free at rbamresearch.com. There's a link in the description below, takes you to RBAM Research, put your email address in there, and you get free access, no credit card required. We put those out for 190 stocks, the major Forex pairs, BTC crypto, and the most liquid futures contracts. For scalping, crypto is phenomenal, S&P 500 is phenomenal, very active on both of those. Same thing for the major Forex pairs. Crude oil and gold and treasury bonds are usually going to generate um, tr price action probably two to three times a week. Crypto, S&P, almost always four to five times a week. Same thing with the major uh, Forex pairs. I don't know that I would use uh, stocks for scalping, but you'd have to take a look for yourself. Again, it's all for entertainment purposes. Only take a look and see if you're entertained by those. It's up to you. Keep in mind, everything you've seen and heard on here is for entertainment purposes only. You cannot use our information for anything other than entertainment. You should always trade at your own risk, and you should always trade with the best analysis, which is your own. If you like this video, please click the like button. If you want to subscribe, please do that as well. If you have a great comment, um, please leave a great comment for us in the comment section below. We'd love to hear from you.